Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Battle Spot episode. Um, things are starting to settle down with the move, so hopefully I'll be able to uh, bring these videos out more often. Uh, we're going to continue with the same uh, QR team that we had uh, the last time. Let's see what kind of an opponent we can find this time. <clears throat> also, I was debating of starting to, to stream a little bit on Twitch. Uh, if uh, anybody's interested in that, let me know. Uh, also, if you guys have any uh, suggestions or comments, please uh, leave a comment. And also, if you enjoy the videos, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It's much appreciated. Hopefully we can get an opponent. Again, like I mentioned, uh, I am working on a, a team to use uh, in these uh, uh, battle spot matches, but it's not quite ready. So uh, I think after a few more episodes uh, using this, this QR team, uh, I should be ready by then. So we're going to find Big B, who is using uh, Arcanine, um, Snorlax, Kartana, Tapu Fini, uh, Mimikyu, and uh, uh, um, 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 not Meowth, but um, of course it's on the tip of my tongue. It's always got to be one that I can't think of. It'll come to me. Um, so we are going to, I'm not too sure if that, I, he could be using Trick Room with uh, Mimikyu and Snorlax, uh, so it'd probably be a good idea to bring Kartana in the back. Um, I am going to... I'm going to kick it off with a rain team, Coco. Uh, we'll bring Carton in the back. Hmm. I want either Mimikyu or Waylord. No. Mimikyu's always good. Uh -oh. I just ran out of time. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely got to get used to these uh, <laughs> to, to streaming. I tend to overthink things sometimes. All right, so we're gonna have a little bit of a lottery then. Uh, so they're gonna bring in maybe Q and Taco Fini to start. Alright, so I'm definitely faster than that Fini. Big shocker. Now, is that Fini going to use muddy water? You know what? I'm going to try to predict the muddy water. I'm going to go for a white guard. And I'm going to thunder that Fini. Oh, Moon Blast. It's going to go into the Coco. And that's going to take him off. Of course, a crit. <clears throat> and there's that Trick Room. 
So in retrospect, I, using that tailwind would have been pointless, so I'm not too bummed about that. Oh, looks like Pikachu was my fourth. Ended up being my fourth. So actually, I'm going to bring him in. Only because he's got fake out. So Feeny. Probably going to get rid of Feeny. Or switch out Feeny for the Snorlax. <clears throat> so I'll attack the Feeny and I'm going to. Oh, no, I can't use the Feeny. That's right. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, well, let's flip things around then. Oh, no switch out. Well, at least Fake Out got the knockout. And so did Play Rough. Now, the question is if that Mimikyu has that Focus Sash. Here's hoping it's not one of those. Uh, how much do they have left? Uh, three turns. <clears throat> so we'll see if we can take out that mimic so at least we can get you know any potential shadow sneaks out of the way and it's a belladrum lax so he should munch on the berry Back up. Oh, is that enough for this team? Now, <clears throat> do I try to get Mimikyu again? Now, if that Snorlax is smart, he's going to go for a Recycle. Um, although he might potentially just go with to that Cartana. Try to take the Cartana out since he's the threat. Oh. Yeah. Let's just stick with the plan. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to go for. That's what I thought. And that player off should almost knock him out. Oh, that was a crit, too. All right, so we're going to get rid of that Mimikyu, at least. Arcanine is the last one. Uh, you know what, let's just go for the Arcanine. Snorlax is going to go first, he's probably going to finish off the Pulp anyway, unless he goes for a Recycle. Oh, he's going to Extreme Speed. Oh, and it's actually enough for Knockout. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, game one, pretty typical. <laughs>
Hopefully game two will go a little bit better. Um, it was too bad that uh, I ended up kind of not being able to pick my last my last Pokemon. Uh, I was kind of going leaning towards Pikachu anyway, but uh, maybe Waylord would have been a little bit better there just just for the bulk. Um, and there wasn't really anything uh, that was super effective against uh, against him. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, I'll have to make note of that for the next time. Uh, hopefully this next match will go quicker and I will not dawdle so much and actually you know, pick my four Pokemon in time. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get another battle here. And we're going to get Scott from North Carolina. Scott is running uh, Tapu Lele, uh, Mudsdale, uh, Arcanine, Tapu Coco, uh, Ninetales, and Alolan Muck. So this seems like um, I can do another, <clears throat> I can give the the rain start again, um, more than likely the Arcanine is going to uh, get its hail off first, uh, so this will at least counteract that. Um, I will bring Karton in the back for that muck. And uh, I will actually grab Mimikyu on time. 35 seconds to spare. Wicked. Already a better match than the last one. Like I was saying before, um, I am thinking at uh, starting to uh, use my Twitch account for streaming. Um, I'm not quite set up yet, uh, but it's getting there, so um, if any of you guys are interested in that, uh, I will uh, post a link um, in the description um, to my Twitch account. Uh, if you guys want to uh, add me, uh, subscribe to my channel, it would, again, as usual, be much appreciated. So they're going to start off with Lele and Ninetales. As you can tell, uh, as predicted, uh, hail went off first, so uh, my drizzle took over and nullified that. So, uh, again, like last time, uh, there is a chance of Nine Tails using Blizzard. So, either Tailwind or Hurricane, or uh, Wide Guard. Um, I'm going to try White Guard again, and I'm going to Thunder uh, into Ninetales. And Ninetales switches out into Top Coco. That should still do some damage to Coco, so I'm not too worried, although that White Guard's wasted now, because I don't think Lele is doing anything that's... Oh, Lele is going to use Thunderbolt. Alrighty. So that Focus Sash is going to get triggered. And Coco is going to take a nice chunk of damage there. Now, so more than likely, Lele is probably going to attempt the same thing. So I'm going to switch in. Uh, no, that's probably going to hurt. Uh, I'll switch in my Mimikyu. Uh, no, because that's going to ruin my switch. Oh okay, yeah, I'm just going to let him go. Uh, I'm going to try to get a tailwind, tailwind off. And I will do... 
Thunder on Lele. See if we can get Lele down. Lele's gonna withdraw. And bring Ninetales in. So I'm gonna get my original Thunder off on Ninetales. But Hail's gonna come in, so that's gonna suck. Hopefully Thunder doesn't miss. And that's Coco's Z-move. I'm gonna assume that's gonna go on Coco. It'd be kind of a wasted Z-move to do that on, on Pelipper. <clears throat> uh, that also means that at least we're going to get uh, Tailwind off, so there's that. Oh, Coco lives! And Thunder connects. And it's going to take out the nine tails. Beauty. And Life Orb's going to kill my Coco. But. I took the nine tails with me, so and I got tailwind up, so I'm happy about that. So I'm going to send my Kartana and my Mimikyu. Um, now the question is, do I go for a Swords Dance on my Mimikyu or, oh yeah, he doesn't have, uh, or do I just go straight up for, he's going to work three. I could maybe just twinkle tackle the Lele. Maybe twinkle tackle the Lele. <clears throat> and I'm going to Leaf Blade Coco. Coco's going to protect. That's not too bad. <clears throat> Now, if this can take out the Lele, then we're kind of in a better shape, because then I can Swords Dance the next the next round without worry, having to worry too much. And that will easily take out that Lele. Arcanine's going to come in. So I'm going to Swords Dance. <coughs> um, and I'm going to Leaf Blade the Coco. So I'll take down the Coco. I'm going to assume Arcanine is going to go after Kartana, and that should take out Kartana. <clears throat> so at least I got a plus two Mimikyu um, with a disguise. Hopefully that will be enough to take care of that Arcanine. Well, let's see what the Shadow Claw does. So what a plus two Shadow Claw does. Or I guess it's plus one with the Intimidate. Oh, he's got his berry, of course. <clears throat> hmm. 
Oh yeah. This is gonna be down to the wire. I have to survive a wild charge. I wonder if he's low enough. Always oh, gonna get the oh, that's no good. Ugh. That was a close one. Well, it's unfortunate you got priority on that move. I guess we're speed tying. So there's another loss. Um the matches were fairly quick, so I think we're gonna try for a third one, see if we can get a win uh before ending it tonight. Uh, I think that one more or less went to plan. Um, kind of wish that the Nine Tails would have stayed in, so I could have gotten that thunder right off the bat. Then the hail would have never came back. Uh, I think that chip damage kind of tipped things in their favor a little bit. Um, other than that, I think the team makeup that I chose was was decent enough. Um, still have a lot to learn as far as uh, I guess uh, common natures so you know it's easier to tell I know that that shiny cocoa if it's the um, if it's the the gifted shiny cocoa then it's timid if I were to know that one's probably max speed um, but as far as the other ones, uh, like I, I had no idea that you know, the Mimikyu and the Arcanine would have been, um, you know, would have been speed tied kind of thing. So that's one of those things that I am still learning and hopefully will learn in time. Um, I mean, if I'm wrong, guys, I mean, really, uh, leave a comment. Uh, I'm just kind of giving my thoughts and like I mentioned before I'm still learning this so it is very very uh, possible to be wrong um, we're gonna get a um, Asian um, <clears throat> competitor today uh, who is going to um, bring uh, Torkoal, Lilligan, Lele, uh, Arangaru, um, Hariyama, and Nihiligo. Now I'm gonna guess that there's there's a lot of trick room possibility. It's probably gonna be the uh, um, it's probably gonna be a Torkoal, um, not explosion, um, eruption. Is it eruption? Which is a real pain in the behind. So they're probably going to start with uh, Hariyama and either Orangru or Nihiligo. Uh So I'm still going to stick with my my rain start. At least I can get rain up if uh, the Torkoal is going to come in early enough. Uh, so hopefully we'll be ready for uh, for them. Um, and I'm going to bring. Uh, you know I'm going to stick with the same. Same four as last time. I just don't see the point of having the two uh, the two electrics. Although I guess I could have brought Pikachu for fake out. Uh, actually, that would have probably been a better idea, especially uh, as a start. So I could have faked out the uh, Hariyama, which would likely well it would likely fake out one of my guys, or I could fake out the Nihiligo, which is likely going to be. Um, Casting Trick Room. So I am going to double into uh, the Night Illegal because guaranteed that uh, he's setting up for Trick Room and Hariyama is going to fake out somebody.
So I'm going to hide your pump in Nihiligo. And I'm going to Thunder the Nihiligo. Fake out and faked out the Coco. So hopefully Hydro Pump goes through and it does. And he's going to have that Focus Sash, of course. Unfortunately, the Trick Room is going to go off anyway. So I'm going to Hurricane Hariyama and, uh, you know what, no, I'm going to Hydro Pump the Nihiligo slot because I'm going to guess that they're going to switch out, um, that Torque. Perfect. All I need is Hydro Pump to go, to go off. Hopefully it'll do good chunk of damage. And more than likely will not knock it out due to the drought. But it'll do a good chunk of damage. I am going to white guard and uh, now is that going to protect me? Does white guard protect from discharge? I think so. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Oh, he's going to use Heat Wave. Alright, so nobody gets anything. Perfect. I'm still alive, so I consider that a win. There you go. Flame Orb wins. Um, Alright, so I'm going to White Guard again, just, case, just in case. Either he doesn't know that you can reuse it, or... Um, Figures I'm not going to use it twice. Um, and I'm actually just going to uh, thunder the Hariyama. He's going to attempt it again. That's what I figured. Oh good, he did try it again. Let's see if that thunder is enough to get rid of. Ah, you'll find it. Oh, that's right, I don't got rain up anymore. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So now he obviously knows that I'm going to continually <laughs> wide guard, hopefully. Oh, hopefully not. He's going to withdraw. Okay, so this should take down Nihiligo. If he attempts Heat Wave again. Nope, Flamethrower. Nope. It does take out Coco. Shoot. Okay. But we stalled out Trick Room, so that's... That's good. I am going to bring in Cartana. I believe she should be faster than that Nihiligo. Okay, so 
Um, so hydro pump the night we go and sacred sword the torco. Let's see if I can take both of them down. I'm not sure. Well, Torco's gonna protect, so it's one less guy doing damage. Unfortunately, and a power gem. That's probably gonna go into the Pelper. Yes, it is. Oh, but the Focus Sash keeps him alive. So Nihiligo. Ah. Oh, Lordy. Okay. So I'm just going to. Hydro Pump Torco. And I will Smart Strike Night Legal. It should be quicker. Right? Either that is another stupid speed tie. Alright, so Night Legal is gone. So we hit it this time. Then we do. Alrighty. Alright, so Lele and Hariyama. Uh, who do I have in the back of Mimikyu? Uh, so Hariyama is probably going to fake out that Pelper and probably going to take him down. So, I'm just going to go for a Hurricane here in hopes that... No, uh, it doesn't go for the Pelper. Actually, you know what? I'd much rather it goes for the Pelper. Um, I'm going to do... Oh, that's right. Psychic Terrain. Ha-ha. <laughs> that's another thing that I'm learning are the terrains. Or at least not learning the terrains, but learning to be aware of the terrain that is up. I would have completely forgot about that. Also, things like having uh, a Pokemon with Lightning Rod, I tend to forget that Lightning Rod is in play sometimes, and I'll do an electric move, and, you know, most of the time it's my own Marowak that's in play. <laughs> but, you know, that's the, you know, you learn that as you, uh, as you play. So we're looking pretty good here. Um, so I'm just going to Hydro Pump. I think that might be enough. Uh, or, you know, if he even gets a chance. Because Cartana should attack first. Leaf Blade. That'll do it. Good, so we pulled off one win out of three matches. So, uh, it's better than nothing. Um, I like at least getting... You know, one win on these videos, at least it doesn't seem like it's a complete waste of time for the people watching. Um, although, as long as the, the match is decent, it's not, not really a big deal about whether it's a win or a loss. But, you know, a win's always nice. Uh, it's nice for me, kind of keeps me motivated a little bit more than losing over and over again. Um, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for uh, sticking it out uh, for that third match. Uh, we got a win off. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, uh, any comments that you have, leave them in the comment section. Um, I will have a link to uh, my 
Twitch account as well. Uh, and hopefully I'll have more information about when I will stream uh, sometime in the near future. So uh, thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Ciao.